Big tower over there. What do you say we check back in on the ranch? sound of hammers banging away. Better rest easy and prepare for tomorrow. I must admit, I'm... Kisara, let's talk for a bit. Maintaining your shield? It's becoming a familiar sight. Nigal was the one who taught me how to maintain my equipment after I first joined the Guard. Now, it's just a part of my routine. Your brother always seems to come up whenever I talk to you. That's because we had no other relatives. So it was just the two of us growing up. He was my idol. The one I looked up to and wanted to be like. When I became a guardsman, Lagiel wasn't too pleased to see me at first. It was Megal who really welcomed me aboard. Lagiel? Oh, right. She was Megal's second in the Gold Dust Cats, wasn't she? That's right. She's always been a very critical and down-to-earth person. In other words, the complete opposite of a dreamer like me. You're more an idealist than some pie-in-the-sky dreamer. Even so, that's my brother's doing. He'd never let me stop seeing a brighter world. He always did what he could to keep me smiling and happy. You must have meant a lot to him. He wasn't just kind, either. He always worked so hard to set an example for me and everyone else around him. <laughs> he was a true big brother. So much so that when he thought I was asleep, he'd slip out of the house to go training on the outskirts of town. 
You seem to know a lot about it. That's because I only pretended to be asleep and would follow after him. Hmm. You know what? I'm at a good stopping point with my shield. If you've got time, how about I tell you a couple more Migal stories? I guess I'd better get comfortable. See you tomorrow. Before we go, do you guys have everything? Not this way, I guess. Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which, in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... Oops! Sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term. But you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does. Which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Ugh. 
What is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Hmm... Something wrong? You look like you're deep in thought. Not exactly. I was merely thinking about you two and your sense of etiquette. Uh, oh? Etiquette? Indeed. To be quite frank, I find your lack of manners to be nigh intolerable. That's not being frank, that's being an... an... Forget it! Do we really need to talk about this now? Yes. I find such impropriety on your parts to be deeply unsettling. It concerns me greatly. What do you want us to do? We were slaves. We never got to learn how to be proper like you. Yeah, what he said. Maybe you missed how we were just focused on surviving. Perhaps, but Kisara here demonstrates that it's quite possible for a Denon to learn proper manners. That's because I was given the opportunity to learn. Moreover, my duties as a guardsman required it. Not every realm is like Menencia, as you well know. Yeah, I don't think it's fair to hold us to some other city standards. Exactly! You've got to remember what it's been like for us living under the Rena elsewhere. Hmm. I will concede that you do indeed make a valid point. It would appear, for all my espousing the virtues of equality between our peoples, I was still looking down on the two of you. You don't need to beat yourself up! I wasn't that offended by what you said, man! Nevertheless, I shall mind my words from here on out. Having said that, I do believe you two would still benefit from learning the basics of proper society. I would be more than happy to teach you both when we camp out, if you like. Yeah, no, I'll pass. Acting all prim and proper isn't really my style. If you say so. How about you, Law? Would you like to learn? Although I suppose my first task is to reform your attitude toward the idea of good etiquette. You're not going to let this go, are you? Hey, let's stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niez, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses, it will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I- Enough already! I need a break, so we're taking one. <sighs> I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm- for you. For me, why? He's tough. Who are you? 
said you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the... That is all I desire. Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? Mega Ray! Double Zena Fang! Lightning condemned! Thunder Blade! Glacial Spear! Pierce Evil! I can carve through armor! Freeze Lancer! Thunder Fear! Who the hell are you? Bastard! This guy's not normal! His speed is unbelievable! You mean he even surpasses a lord? you've got. Very well. Then die. <laughs> hmm.
auf, Finn. Shion. Thanks, but you're kind of crushing me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad? That's... Shion, we thought I'm you were... I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I... Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. But I didn't. <sighs> Look, I'm just glad that you're... Uh. Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine. Really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Nias, the capital of Mahag Sar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey! Mm. are you holding up after that last fight? You're not too hurt, are you? I'm fine, really. See for yourself. If things get too tough out there, go ahead and fall back. I can take a beating if I need to. I'm not here just to stand around and have everyone protect me. I get that, but there's nothing wrong with admitting you have weaknesses too. Do I look like I'm just trying to put on a brave face to you? Uh, <laughs> I can't feel pain, but you still can. Can't you? <sighs> look, I appreciate you're trying to look out for me, but even you go down in fights from time to time. Please, stop trying to babysit me. It's getting old. It's not that. 